COVID-19, the virus, coronavirus, has spread out almost all parts of the world. It is now a big threat for the existence of humanity, for the well-being of every human person, this virus is a big threat. But uh, so heartening that some of the countries in the world are not infected or affected by this coronavirus. For example, Dubai. Dubai, it is said, no virus at all. In other countries uh, where there is no virus, this particular coronavirus proves that these countries have kept away this particular virus in all means. There is one reason that is said in the news in the print media stating that Dubai has no virus because people there keep up the norms and rules like putting on the mask always wherever the people are aside to us keeping the mask completely using with us, number one, social distancing and not coming closer or even shaking hands and keeping the environment clean and washing off hands and faces um, every now and then, then uh, goggling or inhalation, all such measures which have been proposed by the medical world and even by the wise people. Here in Dubai, norms are kept up, rules are followed. This example I am giving because of the gospel. The gospel wherein the Lord says four type of land. One is a pathway, rocky ground and thorny ground and a good soil. And Jesus has given a perfect homely reflection and interpretation for what he has preached in today's gospel speaking about um, seeds fallen or sown on the path, he says, when anyone hears the word of the kingdom, does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away. The evil one comes. Which are the evil in the world? We must know what is that evil. For example, matters of pleasure, drinking, eating too much, or eating uh, meat often and often, or not uh, allowing the good ones to enter. So what happens? Because we indulge in evil things, allowing them to come in, we are prone for such defection or infection. And Jesus goes on saying, what was sown on rocky ground, that is the one who hears the word, immediately receives it with joy. Yet it has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution, family problem, right, or a health problem, or a finance problem, or a debt problem, or relational problem, or uh, some crisis from outside, and uh, persecution maybe from other leaders or other people and so on, what happens on account of faith when these sort of tribulations and persecutions arise, then those people who hear the word of God so joyously in the beginning, they fall away. So Jesus says the second type of people are such. And the third one he says, what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word. They hear the word. People go for convention. People go for retreat center, uh, retreat uh, uh, programs. People go for prayer service. People go for charismatic uh, happenings. People go for uh, uh, some membership in something or other. They take active participation, but what happens? Though they take active participation, they are like thorns, you know, a thorny land where there is no much soil on it and the thorns choke them 
away or take the word away so he says the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches look at this people are after wealth people are after riches people are after the matters of uh, greatness reputation popularity and things like that identity uh, crisis in the society such people are like thorny land <clears throat> my brothers and sisters it is so beautiful how the lord has explained this sort of land uh, thorny land thorny ground right so three type of lands or fields or grounds jesus as underlined here we may come under one thing or other each one of us has to find out whether i am a thorny land where because of riches you know they come and uh, uh, take away the word that is in me and the last one jesus says good soil people who hear the word of god and they keep it that means they follow in the countries wherever norms are followed for example traffic rules traffic rules are placed before people in every nation but how many people follow in our country india we are known for disobedience we are known for uh, how do i say disgruntledness we are known for our own world we are known for our own what shall we say uh, we don't give in that easily for certain norms certain rules certain ways for the common good for the common happiness for the common well being if every individual cooperates that world is a heaven why people flock to abroad why people appreciate the world abroad european countries or american countries or gulf countries why they follow the rules not because they fear the laws and rules they love the laws and rules and they follow and they keep up the city and the country neat clean healthy and wealthy in our country though the population is so big yet we are so ignorant so selfish so arrogant and so how do i say people of pride that is why we don't follow the norms that easily because we don't follow what happens we don't bear much fruit so also in the christian world all the christians who are attends the services or reads bible not that they are holy people they are supposed to be holy but because of the riches of the world because of the tribulations struggles problem that comes up from the body and mind and the spirit so they give in easily and they fall prey to it so we the christians also should learn first how to follow the norms follow the rules the rules are before us for our well being for our happiness for our common good for our cleanliness of the country and the society and the street and the house but we are not ready to follow them we don't respect them we don't honor them who is the one they are to tell us who are these people to command me not to do what i like so this is the attitude of uh, 99% of our indian populace that's why we are far behind from those people abroad so if you want to keep away virus corona follow the norms so also keep away all the evils which are like a virus keep away keep clean keep clean in mind word in spirit and in deed then you find 100% of fruit you bear in your life <clears throat> let's pray lord jesus we thank you and we glorify you for this lovely word that you have given us today it is true that the people of israel 
though they were given so many laws they were not following them and thus how they did not bear much fruit so also in today's context and society people are all of the same attitude lord bless all those people who do not follow your word trim them with your strictness with your chastisement at the same time forgive them when they repent be compassionate to them when they relent to your word make this prayer through christ our lord amen mm-hmm.